Hey, Ryan from CourseCraft here, and today we're creating a quick and easy bumper style intro in DaVinci Resolve. So what is a bumper? Well, it's what you just saw. It's a short little clip you put at the beginning of your video, has your branding in it, maybe a bit of info about what the video will cover. They could be a nice segue and cut point between your intro and your main content. Before we start, this is a follow-up to my DaVinci Resolve editing tutorial video. So if you don't have experience in Resolve or you haven't seen that video, then go check it out because I won't cover the basics here. So let's give it a try and make a bumper for my fictional photography course here. In Resolve, make a new project. I'll call it Bumper. I'll drag in my fake logo for my fake photography course here. Now we're going to need a background clip to put this on top of. I could use something like footage of me with a camera, or I could use a solid color by going to effects library, then generators, and dragging in this solid color thing here. But I've got this background image here I made from a photo I took. I darkened it and made it a bit blurry. I'll just drag that in and zoom it a bit so it fills the frame. In the timeline, you can drag it out or pull it back so it's the length you want. I would recommend keeping it to less than 10 seconds or so, and even less if it's just the logo by itself. I'll set mine to about 10 seconds for now, and we can always trim it later. Next, we can drag our logo to the track above, leave a second or so empty at the front, and then drag it out to the very end. This is all up to you in terms of aesthetics, of course. I'll resize and position it a little using these controls in the inspector. So we'll make a simple little effect using Resolve's keyframing features. I want it to start a little lower and then fade in as it moves to the center of the screen. So we just move the playhead to the start of the logo track here, then use the inspector to move it down a bit and set the opacity to zero. This way, it starts hidden. Now click these two diamonds next to the things we changed. That sets them to be keyframed and animated. Next, we just go forward a bit here and change the values again. I'll set the Y value to be zero, which will put it back in the center, and opacity to 100, so it's fully visible. Hit play and see what you've got. You can go crazy with this, doing pretty much whatever you feel works for you. For the end of the bumper, I'll just quickly fade it out by dragging this little white doodad a bit to the left. One thing that might trip you up is if you want to fiddle more with the animation or change the speed, be careful about just changing the numbers on the right because that will add new keyframes, which is probably not what you're going to want. You can make this easier by clicking the little diamond here on the clip in the timeline. That will show you your keyframes and you can easily snap the playhead to that spot. When you do that, the keyframe indicator will light back up in the inspector, and now you can change the value safely. You can also drag keyframes around in here if you want to change the speed quickly. Once you have something you're happy with, you can call it done and just use this. It would probably be good to add some audio, like a little jingle, or just put it over top of the beginning of your video where you're talking. For this demo, let's grab some music and put a bit of extra text with the lesson title in it. I'll just drag and drop my music into an audio track here and position it so the music comes in around the same time as my logo. Okay, now let's add the lesson title. I'll pretend I'm making this bumper for my introduction lesson. 
So let's go over to the effects library, generators, and drag this text thingy into the timeline on top of the logo. Again, I want to put it where there's a bit of music to match up. So I'll drag it over to around over here and you can fiddle with this until you get something you're happy with. We'll want the text to stay on until the end and I'll just fade it out the same speed as the logo. For the text coming in, I think I'll make it fade in and get larger. Just add some variety. So at the beginning, I'll make it zoom way out and set the opacity to zero on the video tab. And then make sure to click the keyframe buttons again. Then just like before, we can go forward a bit, maybe half a second, and set the values to be the final way we want it to look. Lastly, as a finishing touch, I'll go back to the beginning and move the background to the left. Hit the keyframe icon for the position. Then I'll go to the end and I'll move it all the way to the right. And now the background will slowly shift throughout the whole thing. And that's it, don't be afraid to play around with it. Try text zooming in from the side, or animating the tracking, or whatever fits with your style. So if your bumper has just the logo in it, like Horsecraft's at the beginning of this video, then you can render it out and just save the video clip and use it in all your projects. If you have less than specific text, like I did in this example, then the easiest thing to do would just be to open this project up, edit it, change the text, and then re-render it uh, for each, each video you make. Let's take a look at the final bumper we made. easy to create, and it adds a lot of polish to your videos. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos.